They had just heard in harrowing detail how their father was violently killed. Then the children of Barry Rubri made this appeal. Someone out there knows what's happened and who is responsible for our father's death. Please help bring these persons to justice. Barry Rubri's murder is a mystery. The grandfather was a popular landowner in Iron Acton. He had no known enemies. He was last seen alive by a friend who dropped him home the night before after a Masonic dinner in Staple Hill. But when he entered his house, someone was waiting. Barry Rubri's family believe the former boxer would have put up a fight, but police say he stood little chance. He was attacked by at least two people. They bound his hands and legs with electrical cable and subjected him to a long and brutal attack. Giving evidence today, the pathologist who performed the post-mortem said Mr Rubri suffered extensive bruising and died from severe head injuries. The coroner recorded a verdict of unlawful killing. This verdict has come as no surprise to us, bearing in mind the circumstances under which our father was found. It was very difficult to have to listen to how he suffered. The police efforts have been exhaustive and nearly exhausted. They've spoken to more than 500 people, followed more than 200 lines of inquiry. They have, they say, no idea who killed Mr Rubri. We've conducted numerous inquiries. Um, there is no forensic evidence that has assisted us so far. Uh, we're dependent on information from the community and um, I'd still appeal to the community to help us with the crime because somebody out there knows who's committed this. When he says community, he means criminal fraternity, perhaps the best chance of that vital lead about the attack here. Barry Rubri's children and police fear that unless someone searches their conscience and comes forward, they'll never discover why he was killed. Robert Murphy in Iron Acton for the West Country Tonight.